Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at creating a basic map application. Uh, well, we're not going to see the maps working yet, but I'm going to get as far as registering the debug key with Google, which is uh, something we need to do before we can um, get this thing working. So I've got my Google Play Services lib library project set up from the last tutorial and I'm going to create a new project here so I'll go to file new Android application project and uh, I'm going to I'm actually going to well I'm going to test this project on my phone which is a HTC Desire C running um, Android 4 but uh, you can you can run this in an emulator as well, and I'd suggest the f at least the first time you do this, um, it's probably best just to choose a really recent version of Android. Uh, don't complicate things any more by trying to get this working with an old version, because um, this I, I have found this a bit of a nightmare to get working initially, uh, and I, I don't know why. So it's probably best to take the simplest route the first time. So um, now if I remember what I did last time correctly, I think I set the minimum SDK version here to Android 4 and target SDK, I, I think I'm going to set that to Android 4 as well and compile with, uh, I don't remember what I set it to, let's try Google APIs. 16. I think I should do the trick. I'm not sure if this is really crucial, but because um, I've only done this once before and successfully got it working, but I'm going to try Google API 16, I think, to start with. And uh, the application name, let's call this Map Test or something like that. And I'm going to, you need to put it in a package, of course. So I'm going to put it in com.caveof programming. Dot Android dot map test, but choose something else. Make something up if you don't have a website. Um, it doesn't matter as long as it's unique. And then I click next and just go through all this. Click finish. And now we need to tell this project to use this Google Play Services lib project. And to do that, I right click the project and go to properties Android up here and um, is library should not be ticked so don't don't tick that but under underneath that you see this table blank table and I need to click add here and select the Google Play Services lib project click OK and then OK so now this project will use the jars from that library project and uh, now we can go ahead and get an API key for this. So if you want to release an application, you need to um, go through the whole business of signing your application and you'll need to register the release key with, with Google. And uh, for the purposes of getting this running, I'm going to register the debug key with Google. But if you, when you want to release it and, up, and to actually upload it, you're going to have to do this with the release key that you need to create to publish applications, as we've seen previously. But apart from that, it's going to be the same as uh, it's going to be similar to what I, I'm about to show you. So let's let's dig up the relevant documentation here. So I, I just searched. Um, this is from the last tutorial still for Android V2 Map tutorial, and went to the first link on. Uh, developers.google.com and I get this page and it's got this stuff about uh, displaying certificate information and we need to, we need to kind of do all, all that stuff here so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is signing in debug mode here and you need to deal with this Google APIs console so let's open that and I'm sure if you just type in Google APIs console into Google, you'll get a link to this pretty quickly. And uh, in fact, I, I'm um, signed in as the wrong user here. So I'm just going to sign out and sign in again. In fact, I'll pause recording for a second. So I've, I've signed in using my free 
Gmail account to Google. And now if I search for Google API Console here and go to this API Console, I need to make sure that I'm signed up for the Android Map API service. So if I go to Services here, here are a bunch of different services. And somewhere down here you'll find Google Maps API v2. That's not the one you want. The one you want is Google Maps Android API v2. And you'll notice it's not got any, there's not any so-called courtesy limit. You can use it um, unlimited usage without paying anything. So make sure you get the Google Maps Android API version 2. And make sure that's turned on here. And then the next step is, if I remember this rightly, and again this is just instructions from the developers dot google dot um, developers dot android dot google dot com whatever it is it's instructions from um, uh, the standard google documentation that I'm following but we need to I think I need to create a API project so if I go um, here's here's the console kind of route and if I go to click this thing at the top and this may have changed by the time you're looking at this um, so this is, uh, please just say this is a kind of example of what you might have to do. I'm going to click create to create a API project. Let's call this map test. Click create project. And uh, in fact, yeah, maybe I, maybe I already did that. I'm not completely sure. But let's turn on Google Maps Android 2. And um, now, the, well, the important bit is that I need um, I need to get the key that um, enables me to use the Map API. So um, if I click on API access here, this is the bit that we need to get to. Um, and you see down here it says create new Android key. I'm going to click that. And here you've got a um, some instructions for creating a key. So um, this is where if you if you're releasing your application, you're going to publish it. You need to find your release key, and you need to register that key here to get um, basically to get a key that you paste into your application. But I'm going to register the debug key to get this um, running in debug mode. And to do that, I'm going to go to, I'm going to start a new um, command prompt. So you can do that by clicking on your start menu, typing cmd, and just going to cmd.exe there. And then I'm going to go cd dot dot. Um, actually, no, I won't. I'll go to cd. So I'm, by default, I've opened in my users directory here, and I'm going to cd to um, change directory to dot. Android, I think that's right. Hit return and do dir to list the directory contents. And here we see debug dot key store. Um, it's in my user folder in the dot android folder, which uh, may be hidden if you view it in Explorer. I'm not sure, but here we can see it. And this debug dot key store contains a key with the password android in it, and I'm going to try to register that. So you need to make sure you've got access to the key tool which is part of Java. So I should be able to type key tool here, hit return, and I should see a load of gumph like this. If you don't see that, you need to type the full path to key tool. So you could just search for key tool in your start menu if you don't see it. And just right click it and go to properties. And uh, then type this full path here. I'll just copy that and paste it in here and then add backslash key tool and again you, you should have the same results well actually I, I need to put that in uh, double quotes because there's a there's a space in program files there let's try that there we go so same results again so you, you only need to use the full path to it if it's not in your um, path environment variable and if it isn't, um, then when you type key tool, you, you won't see anything. It'll say command not found or something like that. 
So once you've located key tool, you can paste in this stuff here. Let's just copy it. Just this first bit here. Because this is the name of the key store, and I'm, I'm going to have to specify that manually. And uh, so I go to my command prompt, paste it in. And then I need to type in debug. Um, well, I just typed in DE and hit return, uh, hit tab, sorry, which auto completed. I hit return and it asked me for the key store password. And for the debug key store, the password is Android. So I type Android. And it gives me all this stuff. And now I need to, I'm going to click up in the corner here. Of course, this is going to be different if you're using a Mac or something. But I'm going to click up in the corner and go to edit, mark and then start selecting, I'm, I'm looking for this SHA1 thing here and I'll start by selecting the, f the first digit here go right to the end there just make sure you select exactly all these hexadecimal digits separated by colons and then press return and that copies it to the clipboard and I can now go back to this and paste this in and if you read here uh, it, we also need the package name we need, we need to follow that by a semicolon and then the package name of the application so let's let's go to the let's go to Eclipse and expand source here and go to main activity and at the top here we've got this package I'm going to copy that control C go back to the browser and now type a semicolon at the end of this long string of digits a semicolon not a colon so these are colons you need the semicolon like at the end of a line in Java and then paste in the package name so this is I'm just following the instructions here basically and then I click create and if everything's right we're going to get um, this we're going to get a um, key for Android apps now I need to paste that into the right place in my application and the instructions for doing that are in um, this documentation here the, um, the map v2 tutorial so if I scroll down here and it's, go it's going through all the stuff that I I've just gone through creating an API project um, and all that kind of stuff and then if we look down this is how you actually add it to your application so you, we need to add something into the manifest so I'm going to just copy that and it says add the following element as a child of the application element so let's go back to Eclipse this is horribly complicated um, but if you have the patience it's, it's, not, uh, it's not rocket science it's just annoyingly fiddly so we go to the um, go to the Android Manifest XML. Let's click on the XML tab, and in this application element here, within this, I need to paste in that. Let's, double, let's just double check that that's right. Yeah, it actually says by inserting it just before the closing tag of application. So I, I don't know if it makes a difference. Probably not. But let's put it in the right place just before the closing application tag then I go back to my browser and go back to the API console and copy this API key that we've created and I paste that in here where it says your API key make sure you get the whole thing and I'll just do control shift F to format that and save it so now we've got a uh, registered debug key in the application and we're, we're close to getting a map application working uh, although I'm laughing because um, last time I did this it, it just didn't work and, and the time before it didn't work either <laughs> but after redoing it several times uh, it started working I, d I don't really know why so um, okay so that's it for this tutorial and in the next tutorial I'm just going to paste in a bit of code and uh, some permissions and we'll see if this works or not and if it doesn't then uh, I'm going to go and pull my hair out okay uh, so until next time happy coding <laughs>